welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm making the bunting for the nursery. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So I've made quite a few of these little triangles and then what I'm going to do is just chain them all together. So I'll show you how I make a triangle. I'm going to start off with this colour. Um, I'll link the, in the description what the yarn is and what colour it is. It's really pretty. I'm kind of going with really quite unisex colours. Let's just get, grab some of this. Okay, and I just want to make a slip knot. And I'm using a, I mean this is DK and I'm using a 4 mil hook. I'll just make a slip knot and we'll start with chaining two. And then in this first chain here, so the second chain from the hook, I'm just going to do two double crochets. So this is in UK terminology. So it'll be a single crochet in America. So we've got two, and then we're gonna turn it over, and we're gonna chain one. And I'm gonna go straight into this first one with two double crochets. And it's two, and then into this second one, which is a bit tougher, should have done it a bit looser. Oh, we'll get on there eventually, maybe. <laughs> and do one double crochet and two double crochet so then we end up with four and I'm going to turn it and we're going to chain one and I'm going to do two double crochets into this first stitch so we've got two there and then in these last three I'm going to do one double crochet in each so one Ooh. That's not in the stitch. Two. And then three. So then we end up with five. And then you're going to turn and do chain one and then two double crochets in the first stitch. Okay? And then one in each of the next ones. One, two, Oh, need more yarn. Three and four. And then you turn it over. I'm going to get more yarn. Okay, then we're just going to keep going. So chain one and then two in the first one. So you've got two, one in each, three, four. Five, six, and seven, oh, and then turn it. So you can see it's already starting to make a triangle. I'll do one more row with you. So we want to chain one, two in the first stitch. So we've got two there, and then one in each of the others. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so there we go. So that's the start of it. And then you just turn it, chain one, two in the first one, keep going. So that is eight stitches at the moment. And we're going to build up to 24. So I'll come back to you when we're at the end. Okay, so I am just finishing up my 23rd row that's 23 so then we're going to turn you can see it's definitely more triangular shape now and do the last row so we chain one two dc's in that first one and so we've got two three four Five, six, seven, eight, this is where I hope that I've counted right, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, looks about right halfway, 
14. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, 17, don't usually see the numbers, so 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah I got four there, 21, 22, 23, and 24. This is where I wonder if I actually have any scissors near me. But that is what we are left with. And I'm just going to trim off. Don't need very much, just do that. And then just yarn over and pull it through. And that is it. So that is my finished triangle with 24 four rows. I'm keeping this bit on the end because I will eventually put little beads or something on there and then tie that up and cut it off. These we will chain over, stitch over when we come to put the white on. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to stitch them together with just three of them, otherwise it's going to take me forever because I think I've made about 60 odd. Um, so I'm just going to show you with these three. I'm using six colours but they're three of my favourite ones. And then a humongous ball of white yarn, which is also DK. Um, I'll link, link below what it is because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm just going to find the end, my 4mm hook, and make a slip knot, and right, so to do this we're going to chain 30, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Thirty, so that right. So this bit is so that we can um, tie it up. Uh, so it just gives you a bit extra. You can do it on either end, just so that you can tie it up wherever you're going to put it. If you want longer, you just do longer. But I think that's all I'm going to need because I'm just going to put it on hooks. Okay, so we're going to start with the blue one. Let's go and remove those ones. So then we are just going to grab this first one into the first stitch. And we're just going to do a DC into that. And we're going to keep this one underneath so it's captured underneath. And the second one, DC, and keep on going until the end. Oh, need more yarn. It's getting stuck under my arm. The arm that is. <laughs> They're just going all the way across. one. I mean if you wanted to be doubly secure you could always like you could try and put that on a needle and thread it back through but that's it for now. Right more yarn, pull the whole thing. Right so we need to chain six so we're going to do six between each um, flag, triangle, flag. So I've only got that one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to pick the next colour, I think yellow, and we're just going to do exactly the same here. Get into that first one and DC, and then into the second one, and obviously keep that yellow loose bit there underneath so it's being caught. Oh, 
I'm just going to keep going across. I'm actually just going to fast forward now to when I get to the end because you don't want to see all this again. Because that's what it looks like for now. So I'll meet you at the end. Right, so I am just finishing up this green one. For these scissors, and what I'm actually going to do is lop off my scissors. Lop off this. There we go. <laughs> and just keep, oh, finish off. Last two stitches. Go in. And the final one. There we go. Right, so there we go. We've got, we've got six chains between each. And then we'll line up and you're 30 at the end. So we're gonna do another 30 at this end. Oh. So, one. Thirty. Okay, and I'm just going to turn it all over. Oh, kind of haphazardly, but turned over. And then we're going to do DCs in each of these chains. Ugh, this yarn is just not playing ball with my fingers today. It just it doesn't want to nicely slip through them. Right, so we've got the first one here. Ooh, it's the problem with white yarn, I find sometimes it's a bit harder to see what you're doing. Oh, looks like one big thing. Oh, we have yarn. So, okay, so that was the last stitch. So now we're into the double crochets that we did before, which is always much easier. Oh, we've gone off. Oh. So you literally you just go along, DC into all of these and I will join you near the end. Okay, so here I am, I'm just finishing up this blue one. And then we're up to the chain 30 here and we're just gonna do exactly the same. And um, just keep going with the DCs. And then is the last one, we are at the end. There we go, and then I just want to throw my scissors. Oh, this end. I'm just gonna chop off. Maybe down there, just so we've got plenty of extra length. And then just there, pull it off. And that is it. That is the end. So here we go. So then this just does always seem to just turn in itself. 
Um, but yeah, here is the little bunting. And that is so cute. I can't wait to do all the colours. Get it all done. I'll just show you the other colours we picked. I picked white. It's quite nice. And we've got I'll put it over here, green and purple. So these are the colours that I'm gonna have in the nursery. And so yeah, that is it. That is how I do the crochet bunting. And it's really simple and really easy to do. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!